sweet. There's nothing that warms you up more than a soothing cup of hot chocolate when the temperatures drop. And today we are going to tell you about an organization that's going to help you out. We are joined by Safe Passages Executive Director Marianne. Marianne, thank you so much for joining well, us today. Well, my pleasure, Seth. Thanks and for having me. The event is the Hot Chocolate Run. Tell us all about it. Well, the Hot Chocolate Run, um, we're having our ninth annual um, on December 2nd. Basically, people either walk, run, and at the end they get a custom designed mug and filled with hot chocolate. So it's a great event. It's a couple, couple hours, but it's a great way. People bring their families and their work colleagues and everything. And, and the benefits go towards Safe Passage. Now, yes. tell us a little bit about your organization. Well, Safe Passage is a domestic violence organization. We work in Hampshire County, we provide shelter for um, survivors of domestic violence who need to escape. We also provide community services, advocacy, counseling, legal help, children's services, kind of a whole variety of um, of help for people who are in violent situations. Well, it's great that you do yeah. that because there, you know, people need that help so badly. So right. I'm, I'm happy that you can provide it and I'm happy that the hot chocolate runs a great way to get yes. funding raised for that because I'm sure it's not cheap. It, it's not cheap. It's, you know, we have a shelter, People eat every day. They have all of their their needs. So sheltering people is the same as you know people have have homes. You know how much it it takes to actually house yourself and your family. So, um, so yeah, if we. So Marianne, people love getting out for the run, but I think they like the prize at the end because I'm told that your hot chocolate is pretty tasty. Well, the the planning group early on decided that we want the hot chocolate to be an experience that people come back for every year. So it's a gourmet recipe. It has not been revealed up until now. So oh, is this groundbreaking this is, things that we're doing? This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Oh, we I are didn't revealing know. the recipe. Oh, I didn't even know this so, was the first time. Folks, you're in for a treat right now. Right. So if you want to make 500 gallons of hot chocolate, <laughs> oh, there's the caveat right yeah, there. Yeah, right. But, you know, you use fractions. That's you can, you know, it down, simple you know? math if you want to right. make it for one. So right. how do we make it for 500 well, gallons? <laughs> well, for 500 gallons, um, the North Hanford Brewery partners with us, and they mix up the, the, all of the hot chocolate in one of their big beer vats. They clean it out first and, mm -hmm. and everything, and then we um, transfer it into a big milk tote that we get from an agricultural supply company, and How cool then we is put that? that on a rider truck, and then we drive it into the, into the area and serve it from there. So it's kind of an engineering project. It's kind of a different you know, thing we have to think yeah, about. Yeah, it's but that to, you, know, you can also make it at home. So, so the, we're going to do that right yeah. now. So mm -hmm. this is our finished product, but right. how did we get to here? Well, we start with, I mean, there's basic ingredient, ing ingredients. Milk, we use milk from our family farms because they donate the milk to us. They're really wonderful about that. Um, we start with a little bit of milk, um, some of the sugar. That's a good amount of sugar. Cocoa. It is a good amount of sugar. But this you know, is going to make a gallon. And you're not using those packets, though, and those no. have so much sugar in them anyways. Right, but right. You're just yeah, using cocoa powder packets. and sugar. It's a little more pure. Yeah, we're using the sugar. It's a little more sugar than Ooh. cocoa, um, but it's a lot of cocoa. It's about a cup of cocoa per oh, gallon. Oh, it smells of milk. so good. Once that, the and cocoa hit the milk, yeah. it, it smelled amazing. And, you know, the reason we do a concentrate first is that, you know, you can see. You know, the cocoa kind of flows to the top until mm -hmm. it's dissolved and warmed up. So we warm up some milk, make kind of a concentrate, and then, um, and then add the, um, the full gallon in a big pot like that. That makes a lot of so, sense. So yeah. can we give it a little taste? Sure, All sure. All right. I'm very excited for yeah. this. Yeah. I mean, the <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Ashley always comes in for the chocolate. <laughs> well, you know, right. like Seth got to try hard cider yesterday, and that we have wine oh, tastings. So. But <laughs> yeah. I'm good for the hot chocolate. Now we've got area. we've got a couple oh. of of options for toppings. You know, we, we do have marshmallows. Um, we um, at the event, okay. people sometimes can bring their oh, their own uh, whipped cream. Some people like that on top. Um, some people like to put a little. Um, Candy cane or something. I couldn't find any at the store last night. I think we're still oh, at the, marshmallows are, at the end of the Halloween period. stuff. Or just so good old hot cheers, cheers to you, Marianne. Cheers. 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 And from the polar bear and the penguin, they're exactly. the hosts of the event. Oh, good. So, and hey, yes. to a good safe passage, yes. how's that yes. sound? And a great Thank hot you. chocolate so run. Right. Coming up on massive.